My dear students, welcome to Unit 4, Week 3, that extends from March 10th till March 14th. We're going to start this uh, week with noble speech. We're going to read and annotate noble speech. Our word wall is going to include crisis, pollution, urgency, universal, illusion, environment, educate, threats, peace, and speech. You're going to watch a video about Al Gore's Nobel Prize speech, and you are going to have an interactive activity related to that. You're going to watch another video about we're seeing, we're seeing the rising generation demanding a better world, our Al Gore Nobel Peace Prize Forum. You will have another interactive activity related to that, a further practice, and for the challenging question, what rhetorical strategies does Al Gore employ in his Nobel Prize acceptance speech to effectively convey the urgency of addressing climate change? And how do these strategy, strategies contribute to the speech's impact on the audience? You will have a self-assessment, and then you're going to search about Al Gore and write a paragraph about him in your, uh, in your notebook. We're going to continue talking about noble speech, but here we are going to uh, explore the word wall, persuade speech, literary devices, rhetorical strategies, figurative language, address climate change. In this, uh, in this class, we are going to look at specifically the persuasive speech uh, techniques that Al Gore used. We're going to watch a video about persuasive speech. You will have an interactive activity. You're going to watch a video about the text itself. You will have another interactive activity related to that, further practice. And for the challenging question, I would like you to search for, how does Al Gore use storytelling techniques in his Nobel Prize acceptance speech to engage the audience and emphasize the importance of addressing climate change? A self-assessment. And for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to search for the meaning of the foresty and write it in your notebook. By the way, these are, this is a technique that is going to be used in your persuasive speech. For lesson three, we're going to recognize uh, the features of a persuasive speech. Our word wall is going to include target, audience, persuasive, speech, engaging, ethos, credibility, uh, logos, logic, path, uh, pathos, in emotion, pathos, which is emotion. You're going to watch a video about persuasive techniques and you'll have an interactive activity related to that. You're going to watch another video about persuasive speech and you will have another interactive activity related to persuasive speech techniques. Further practice and for the challenging question, in persuasive communication, how can one effectively use credibility emotional appeal, and logical reasoning to connect them with diverse audience and achieve desired outcomes, which is logos, ethos, and pathos. Okay, a self-assessment. And for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to collect pictures of advertisements and write the advertisements use ethos, pathos, uh, pathos, or logos. For lesson four, you're going to... Uh, we're going to identify the elements of a speech and determine the purpose of writing a speech. Our word wall is going to include uh, exordium, which is the introduction, narration, peroration, transitions, signposts, rhetoric, deliberation, pathos, ethos, logos, figurative language, call to action, anecdote, and articulate. You will have a PowerPoint presentation after that, you're going to listen effectively of how to write a winning speech and take effective notes. For the first interactive activity, I would like you to read the paragraph below and identify the following. Define the term speech, determine the purpose behind writing a speech, and explain the purpose of our speech based in the unit's uh, concepts and context. You're going to write another video about author's purpose and you will have an interactive activity uh, related to that. In, in groups, you're going to read the description of each item and determine the author's purpose in writing it. Uh, is it to entertain, persuade, or to inform? Then in a sentence or two to explain your answers. You will have a further practice and you will have a self-assessment. 
for the challenging question. You're going to read uh, a paragraph. After reading it, I would like you to imagine you're an uh, environmentalist that wishes, to, that wishes to raise awareness about the impact of pollution. Identify the following, your goal, your role, your audience, the situation, and the purpose. Then, on your notebook for what to do to next, next, I would like you to answer the following question. What is the main purpose of embedding the use of stylistic choices when writing? For lesson five, we're going to visit the library, this time to cite our resources. You're going to uh, acknowledge diverse perspectives, promote ethical writing, facilitate further research, meet academic requirements. Our word wall is going to include research, question model, credit, logical information, literacy, inquiry, and evaluation. You're going to watch a video about citation, and you will have an interactive activity related to that. You're going to watch another video about MLA citation and an activity related to MLA citation. Remember that our MLA citation is MLA 9 in our school. A further explanation and a self-assessment uh, that is related to what we have taken. For the challenging question, how will I measure or assess the outcomes related to my research question? To prepare for the next class, I would like you to click the picture to download the document and answer the questions on your notebook. I can't wait to start this week with you guys. All the love and respect. Peace out.